You know, Velisano might have started as a bike ride, but today it's far more than a bike ride. It's a, it's a movement, it's a cause. Well, what I remember about year one was that um, I had serious butterflies <laughs> uh, leading up to it because uh, we had never done anything like this before in Cleveland. Seeing the kickoff party, seeing the enthusiasm, I mean, it's contagious. And when, when I saw that early on, I knew this had legs. We had the most beautiful evening for our first kickoff party. And then overnight it started raining. And, you know, we were all, the team, we were all so concerned, you know, are people going to show up? And then that morning, you know, you can barely sleep and you get up early and you go to the site and there's hundreds of people getting organized, getting their stuff, saying to yourself, maybe, maybe this will work. And we had 800 people take off that morning to ride and it was amazing. We are the Masolnikar family of Team Flying Frank. We had this huge cheering group that followed us around from stop to stop with signs, cowbells, like we were probably the loudest bunch that yeah. anyone saw at any rest stop. It makes me proud to be able to amplify the message when people see me out and about wearing a Velisano shirt or a hat. Um, it makes me feel proud to be a part of, of the bigger community and hopefully the solution. It's made my life fuller to be able to be there and to do this. So many people come together from all different walks of life and we come together for one cause and that's to help find a cure for cancer. The people, it's the people, the people that we've met along the way and how they feel about it. And you see that they feel about it just as strongly as we do. That is special. The bike we rode and the money we raised and the research it funded and the data it produced. But the bottom line is then the person, the person whose life was, was changed or saved. Well, when I was diagnosed in 2016, I wasn't sure I would still be here. My daughters were four and two at the time. And here I am seven years later, and it's only through the grace of modern medicine. If that's possible for me, that's possible for anybody. Over the last 10 years, Velasana has its fingerprints on almost all of our projects. It's allowed us to take really crazy ideas and demonstrate that they may actually be possible. Anytime I see on the news that there's been some breakthrough and I see that the Cleveland Clinic researchers are there doing it, it's, it makes me proud to be from Cleveland and that they are on the forefront of making this happen. And so I'm now 11 years out from my original diagnosis in 2012 and I'm very grateful. The fact that it was diagnosed, treated well, and I'm still here to talk about it, drives me forward and drives us forward to help raise funds for other people who might have the same experience and get a great outcome. You're saving lives. It feels like you're a superhero. You're saving someone else's life just by raising money and going on a bike ride. That's one of the easiest things you can do to help save a life. So 10 years of, of Velosano means um, a lot of miles of riding, uh, a lot of friends made, uh, a lot of um, powerful memories, uh, and a lot of, um, of optimism based on what we've already achieved for what the next 10 years can bring. We can't do this without you, and that I think is what also makes this such a beautiful thing, is it's the power of everyone coming together. I think Velasano has given me, you know, um, that our dad was taken early, but that he's still like living on. Mm -hmm. Like his name still carries on as the years go through. That he will, you know, forever live on through Velasano with us. There will be a day where we don't live with cancer, where we are all able to find effective treatments and continue to live full, long, healthy lives.